As Seeding Labs, we're in the business of transforming the world, and we invest in scientific capacity in the least resource countries so that every community can use science to solve their most pressing challenges. And we've worked with nearly 200 companies who have contributed to our mission. Just in 2020, we were acquired by Danaher and Cytiva was born. And as we looked at how do we really make an impact across society and the planet, and how do we do this for future generations to come, sustainability was one of our imperatives as a business. Our company is just 22 years old now, and right from the beginning, the Comb family that uh, owns our, our company, uh, you know, it's deeply rooted in their family uh, about giving back. We have Professor Aina Ariogan, who's joining us from the University of Ibadan in Nigeria. She is an incredible mentor for the next generation of scientists in Nigeria. We do have a lot of challenges to research and higher education, ranging from not having equipment, uh, very little grants. Uh, the Nigerian society, just like every African society has, a large population of youths in universities and allied institutions, and only few can access grants for work overseas. In 2019, we got donation of equipment from Seeding Labs. This single donation of equipment has changed the narrative for us as faculty and our students. It's, it's a joy for me as a, as a teacher to see that we're making greater impact with what we're getting from you. And that gives them hope. Our program is built on relationship building. And that is exactly what Seeding Labs is doing with organizations and universities like IENAS. Um, and we love that we can even be a small part of, of that story and that relationship building. Um, you're having an impact across 37 different countries. What organization can do that outside of a global organization like Seeding Labs, who's having local impact in the local communities around the world? We need, we need more support. We need to work together more. We need more commitment so that we can do more because we don't know where the next innovate, where the next invention is going to come from. And it's going to come from this uh, group.